Hi, my name is Dwayne. I'm the D in Catalo. The young ladies of Catalo are behind the camera and on the timer, and we're excited to bring you episode 21 of Catalo Daily. Catalo Daily, in under five minutes, the biblical stories with the facts back in that the flannel graph has missed, and the show is starting now. Now, here this week, we're going to continue looking at the man Samuel. I, I thought maybe we would leave him behind and come back, you know, come back to some of his stories later. But as I was studying for the Catalo Daily series, a lot of times we look at the people around Samuel and what happens in that way and not focus on the actual man Samuel and what happened in his life. And the Bible does tell us some about him. So I figured we'd take the next few days to look at that. If you remember last week, we finished off with the Philistines taking the ark and then they sent it back after they got the uh, massive amount of tumors and uh, the mice coming into their land. And if you did your homework in 1 Samuel chapter 7, when they received the Ark of the Covenant back into Israel, it actually came with a great price because they treated it so poorly, they acted like it was a good luck charm again for them. They had lost it in the battle because of that, and now in the city that it had come in, when they kind of treated it like a good luck charm, God actually killed 70 of the people there in Israel because of their lack of faith in him due, uh, with the Ark of the Covenant. And so everybody's kind of sick of the thing. They ship it off, and if you saw where it landed, that's where we pick up our story. The ark is actually going to stay 20 years before it comes back to where it belongs. Samuel is going to start at this point with the ark of the covenant in the land, but not back at its home base, as the judge. You know, the Philistines had fought them, the Israelites, and they had lost severely, the 34,000 people. And Samuel is going to start as their judge. And it happens like this. He addresses the people and says, look, if you are truly repentant for what you've done, because the people were telling Samuel that it made them sick what they had done to God and sending out the ark and, doing a, and taking him so lightly. And Samuel says, okay, if you are true about this, get rid of your idols, get rid of the, the Baal, get rid of the Asheroths, get rid of the different God idols that you have and turn your hearts back to only God Jehovah. And the people did. Uh, they respond really well to Samuel. They know he's a prophet, but now they see him as a leader. And he judges Israel for the rest of his life. His next action, once the people get rid of all their idols, the Philistines actually get word that the Israelites are meeting in Mizpah. And that's where they're you know, doing this at. And so they say, hey, we gotta, we've got a chance here to rally against them and to shut them down for good. Their God has already hurt us in our home country, but let's go to theirs. We won there last time. And so they come and go to attack Mizpah. Of course, that freaks out the Israelites because they lost the last battles to the, to the Philistines. But they also, they've just kind of turned around and coming back to God again. And they're like, oh no, what's going to happen? And they, they say, ask Samuel, they say, please do not stop praying to God for us. Things will happen. And so Samuel does. He prays and asks God to defeat the uh, Philistines. And the Philistines come in, and there's not even a battle. It's pretty amazing. I, maybe you've forgotten this part. But Samuel prays and asks God to intervene. And as the Philistines are coming to battle and to take over Mizpah, God makes a thundering sound. I imagine it like a wave kind of going, you know, like a boom, going through all the people. And it's so thunderous that it confuses the Philistines, and they, they run in terror and in confusion. They leave the place. And they don't attack again. In fact... As long as Israel continues to follow God during the time of Samuel, which they do for a while, the Philistines never can defeat the Israelites. And they are pushed back, and all the cities that the Israelites owned, that the Philistines had taken over, are returned to them. Now Samuel is going to, like I said, judge for the rest of his life, and he's going to spend his days going to four cities. His home city of Ramah, and to Mizpah, and then two other cities in a circuit, and that's where he's going to judge. People will know that they can see him at a certain time of year, and they can get their stuff resolved. The problem, though, isn't with Samuel's judging. He does an amazing job. The problem, Samuel, the problem, it's your kids. And we're going to look at what happens in his family tomorrow.